Hey everybody, it's Phil here, Sheldon Bosley Knight. We've got a property tour for you today. We're on Manor Court Road, the house there directly behind that we're going to. It's an absolutely stunning, um, very old house, um, 1888, um, we're told. Um, so it's got character, it's got charm, obviously part of a um, sort of a conservation area here as well. But um, yeah, can't wait to show you this one. So I'm just gonna hop over the road a little bit, turn the camera around, show you a little bit more then. There we go then. So that's the front of the house, as you can see. And it's just full of character and charm, as we say. So you've got a really nice sort of pathway. There's like rope edging to the sides, all the feature um, sort of going through, all the way through there. So this one, you've got access both sides. You can go that way through to the rear garden. And this way then takes you through to the house um, the entrance door is just there. So if we just point our way down that direction, that takes you back towards the top end of Abbey Green, and then this way takes you down towards Manor Court Avenue, Earls Road. We're just opposite the church. The church is just over there, as you can see, but we'll have a look at that from the, uh, from the house upstairs. So there's the front, let's get in, let's go and have a look. So, nice little recess on the porch, and even that's tiled, look, half tiled to the walls, really pretty. And then the original bits start to sort of kick in. Big, tall, high ceilings, tall skirting boards. Um, there you go, it's very, very high in here. But the Minton tiling, that runs through um, into here. Um, so it's got a bit of both. Look, you've got alarm systems to keep everything obviously nice and safe. Stairs go straight up, archways and features. That are in there so we're just going to pop into the front lounge just there as you can see as i said before you've got the big tall high skirting boards just in the bay picture rails in windows have been replaced heating system wiring's been upgraded etc all within the parameters obviously of the conservation area that we are in that's an original fireplace um, I'm told, and the house dates back to um, 80, I think 1888 is what we were told um, just there. So there's the last little bit of the lounge. Let's work our way through into the rest of the house. It's just gone really gloomy outside, unfortunately. It's been beautiful all day. So the middle room, really nice sort of flooring, another fireplace in there. That's got a gas fire in. Lots of light coming through the garden points westerly. Um, I'll just show you there, look, there's the compass point as we're looking that way, but that's west. Um, so you've got window on the side, window on the back, and then we'll work our way through into the kitchen. There's a nice glazed door there to lead you through. I'm just gonna pop some lights on. There we go. Like Blackpool Illuminations in here now. Really nice setup of kitchen. It's all been changed and opened. RSJs have been put in. So you've got curved um, units there and also here and around the corner. Um, there's an integrated fridge. There's an integrated dishwasher in. Um, pull out big tall drawers, double ovens in. Four ring um, induction hob, stainless steel glass um, hob. There's a, sorry, stainless steel glass extractor. There's a glass. Um, splash back just there as well. Um, got a couple of vertical radiators, one here, one in the corner. Now, there's a stable style door, another big window on the side. That door and stairs descend down to the cellar. Um, the cellar is um, pretty much the width of the house and then um, about six foot. So there's a bit of storage space, nice and cool down there. I've just been to measured up. You can also see on there, look, the boiler's been replaced. Now, quite a few changes here. Um, you've got sort of a bit of a, um, a lobby area just off the kitchen, and that's got these um, inset lighting in as well. And then coming through here, that turns around a bit more of a sort of a utility space, so that's really handy. Um, nice big window on the side, views over the garden, and really handy, a WC just down there as well so that's that bit let's venture back through the house one last little look as we 
go through and we're going to work our way upstairs so we've got three stroke four bedrooms up here um i say three stroke four you've got some decisions to make on here um nice big landing front bedroom would have been on the front and it would have been a whole big room the whole width of the house but what you've got is bedroom three in here it's l shaped it just recesses back just there um so you've got double double bunk bed in here um there's a radiator it's his own window it's still got the high ceilings the cove in but that wall has been added this one and if you wanted to open that back up to one big room then you know reason why you wouldn't be able to do that and then that would be one big room this room's kitted out in sort of a love of elephants a bit of a sort of an indian sort of theme going on just there um we said about the views over the church the church is just its way over there in the church grounds so that's very pleasant obviously abbey green is just up the road so the current main bedroom is in the middle and that's in here um, a big set of wardrobes there which may be available and i'm just going to turn around here you can see the garden just over there look works its way through very pleasant and then you've got another room which could be a bedroom i think you're just going to need to have a little bit of vision on this one it's been used as a bedroom before over the year I and mean, this property has not changed hands since the mid 80s um, but you could use this as a study as an office a, a sitting room Obviously, there's freestanding wardrobes. There is an air and tank in here, and then this is all storage space. But off here is the bathroom. The bathroom's all been kitted out, so maybe extend the landing on a little bit and then have this as a separate sort of space if you wanted to. So, big corner bath, separate shower cubicle in there. That's a PVC sort of um, marble effect. Got that at home, it's very good, very smart. And there's your wash hand basin and toilet in there so let's get downstairs go and tell you a little bit more about the garden right we've just come outside here we go you've got a mix of paved patio wooden decking there is some block paved sections and right at the top you've got a loose slate sort of section um mature garden well stocked borders Loads of flowers, shrubs, bushes, trees, etc. I'm going to venture right to the top so you can see. I want to come back on me so that you can see the uh, rest of the house. Just there, there you go. Beautiful house, full of character. Just so many features to the house. Um, the curved walls, the brickwork, the windowsills, the ironwork the arches that are over the windows um, this is amazing when you see see how this was done like it's got the bars and the feet underneath it and so on and then just the special bits to the tops up there but there we go I could gush about this house a lot so let's turn the camera around tell you a little bit more and there we go then so that's the video tour almost complete number 31 Manor Court Road lovely address Abbey Green close to the obviously the town centre but Abbey Green and the little sort of section of shops that are here I mentioned the church is just opposite so that's very pleasant just a small walk into the town small walk into Abbey Green road links obviously to further afield are an absolute doddle straight up Tuttle Hill out towards sort of Addiston and Tamworth and further afield from there easy access obviously into the town centre and the bus station and the train station that's there and then further afield out towards the triple four the a5 and so on our clients have loved it here they've been here for let me work it out nearly 40 years now and they've done a whole load to the house obviously the big one is the kitchen and the redesigning of that and then they've done all this work to here where they've got the lobby the utility the wc that's all working very very well so um it's a big house it needs to be a family that are in here now our clients have found something that they would like to buy 
Um, so that's all good. You're not going to let get let down by the clients and not moving. So certainly worth coming to have a look at. Check out the brochures, the spec sheets, the floor plans. Have a look. Anything you're unsure about, let me know. We'll try and answer any questions, queries that you may well have. Just there, we're going to launch the property to the market very, very shortly. Price on this one, again, probably unsure where it's going to sit. Uh, asking price is two hundred and ninety-five thousand pound. Um, so two hundred ninety-five k. You want to come and have a look? We're going to be showing people around here nice and quickly. So let us know, and we'll try and get you booked in for a viewing. So thanks for watching. Do take care. All the best. Bye bye.